What's going on guys, Aaron Golston here. Just got something in the mail, so that's good. So what we're gonna talk about in this video is when to hire a virtual assistant. I see a lot of people in the dropshipping space, they hire a virtual assistant too soon, and then because of that, they run into a lot of problems, a lot of issues, they have a lot of headaches that could all be avoided if they just understood Three simple things I'm gonna share with you in this video. Three simple basic steps. So what is a virtual assistant or a VA? A VA is a virtual assistant and they are basically an employee, someone that works for you. So they're, they're, they're gonna work for you. They're gonna basically help you and run your business so it can be somewhat automated so you have more time to do the things that you wanna do. I used to work at Subway. That was like the first big boy job I had. And at Subway, I would go in there and I was Subway's employee. So I wouldn't really see the owner that much because he had me there making the sandwiches and cleaning up and doing everything. So it was basically like, Aaron, you do this, 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 this. You might see me once or twice a month, right? That's kind of how it worked there. So a virtual assistant is kind of like how I was the Subway. <laughs> A virtual assistant's like that for you. They're gonna be someone that is gonna, you're gonna be able to train to help run your drop shipping store for you so you kind of have automated income. Like you guys might hear me talk about in my, um, especially if you're, if you're friends with me on Facebook Marketplace or you're in the free group, I make 500 to to $1,000 a day drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I work five minutes a week because I have, well, I got, two VAs, but I have one of them, basically the main one. You can do it with just one if you know what you're doing. One that she does everything. She runs the entire store. She lists new items in my store. She orders items. She does returns. Then I, No, I, I got another VA that does returns and handles customer service and all that. But it's like I, I they do the work and I just kind of oversee it and then I make the money. So that's what a virtual assistant does. So let's talk about the three steps that you need to have in place first. So step number one, you do it yourself and pretty much master it. This is, do not underestimate what I'm saying here. You have to do it yourself. A lot of people, they want to get into the dropshipping space and then, you know, they get into it and the next day they, they got to hire a VA. You have to do it yourself. You have to do it yourself first. What's that mean? You have to know the ins and outs of your business. You have to know how to find, consistently find good items to list from your dropshipping companies to your store. You have to know how to list those items correctly to your store. You have to know how to do order fulfillment, handle returns, answer customer service. You have to know the entire dropshipping business model. It doesn't mean it's going to take you a long time to learn, but generally like in the, in the program that I recommend, I recommend about three months. Generally in about three months, you can get really good and get to the point where you do have VAs pretty much automating your business if you're serious and like put in work. I mean, you got to put in work to do that. If you half-ass it, it's not going to work. But you still have to do it yourself first. You have to get familiar, get familiar with the systems, get familiar with the processes, and get familiar with the structure of it, and you're going to see why in a sec. Step number two, now if you bought a good program that has systems in place, just follow the systems. But if not, put systems in place. There should be systems and protocols for finding good products. Like, this is exactly what you do. And if you do this, every single time you'll eventually find good products. Like, there can't be any guessing. You can't like say, it's got to be very precise. This is exactly what you do to find good products. This is the, exactly what you do to list those products in your store, right? This can be applied to any store, Amazon, eBay, whatever, whatever. I teach marketplace, but you understand. This is how you list those products in my store. So in, I have a 31 page checklist of everything that's needed when you list an item on Facebook Marketplace. So it's very simple for my VA, whenever she's listing a new item in my Facebook Marketplace, to go through the entire 31 pages and make sure that everything is done perfectly. Perfect title, perfect images, perfect first image, because if 
the first image is supposed to be the third image. That's going to cause an issue. You guys understand what I'm saying? Perfect description. All these things are perfect. All these things are perfect and in point. I have 24 scripts for different customer service scenarios. So the item's out of stock. The customer wants to know why it arrived in the Amazon box. The item's running late. I used fake tracking and I got to replace it. There's a thousand. I got 24 copy and paste scripts. So if you have that, then get good at those systems. If you don't have that, then you got to create it, which is fine. I created myself, right? I, all the stuff that I teach, I created myself. But it's only once you have those that you do step number three, which is hire a VA. Why, why, why do you have to do it yourself first and get good at the process? Pretty much master it. Then put systems in place that can be duplicatable, that are not too complicated, that are very structure and linear and check, check, check before you hire a VA. This is what people do when they hire a VA when they don't know what they're doing. They hire the VA and they basically say this. You're going to list these types of products from this drop shipping company over here. And you're kind of going to do it like this and that's that. Go to work. And the VA doesn't do a good job. And then they yell at the VA and they think it's the VA's fault. Imagine I went to work at Subway. I went to work at Subway. Here I am. I'm ready to work at Subway. And the manager says, great, you're going to make sandwiches. I said, okay, that's great. And the customer comes in and they say, oh, I want a chicken bacon ranch. So I get the chicken, I get some bacon, I get some ranch, I put it together, I put it, the guy says he wants it warmed up, I put it in the toaster, I take it out, I burn it, and the manager comes back and says, oh my god, what are you doing, Aaron? You put too much chicken on it, you warmed it up too much. No, 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 no. There was a process for making a chicken bacon ranch. The customer would come in and notice the process, pay attention to it. There was a process that I could follow, and I got trained on this. I would come in, and if they wanted a six inch chicken bacon ranch, what I would do, I'd first ask, what type of bread would you like? Oh, I, I want the white bread. Okay, let's see, this is the Italian Urban Jays. This is that one. The, oh, here's the, here's the white bread. Take it, you want six inch. I start from here and I cut it like this. And I cut it down here. I take this piece, put it back. You want the chicken bacon ranch. So I know the chicken bacon ranch, because it's a six inch, it comes with one container of chicken. So I take the container that's already cut out, that's already, it's already measured out. It comes in the container and I just plop it on there. Then it's two pieces of bacon. One piece of bacon here, one piece of bacon here. And then the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the cheese was like, they wanted the shredded cheese. It actually wasn't measured, you kind of guesstimated. But if it was like American cheese, it was one slice, two slices of American cheese. The cheese was already cut out. See, it's all very systematized. It's all very systematized. That's what you need to have in place before you hire a VA. Because you need to have systems that you can teach them. A lot of people think they hire a VA and the VA is supposed to know what to do. No. The VA is like an employee. You hire an employee and then you train the employee. Have you ever had a job? Imagine you got a job. You went in there. You didn't. You had 10 minutes of training. And then the owner started yelling at you because you were messing up. And you, you were like... Has that ever happened to you? Because it's happened to me. And I was like, part of me inside, I didn't want to mess up. I wanted to do a good job, but they didn't have a good training in place. So they were yelling at me for something they never taught me, right? Don't do that with your VA. And you won't do that if you, have the, if you do it yourself first. See, in order to have the systems in place, you have to do it yourself first. And in order to even know what the systems are, you have to do it yourself first. And then, once you do it yourself and you have the systems in place and you teach it to your VA, then you have to know what to look for so you can check their work. You need to check to make sure they're listing the right items and they're listing them the right way and they're handling all the customer service the right way. How could, so, how could you know what to look for and if they're following the systems... If you don't understand the systems, you don't have the systems in place, so you haven't even taught the VA the systems, and then you don't, you haven't done it yourself first, so you don't know what to look for. So that's that. It's only after that, those steps that then you can hire a VA, and you don't just hire them and let them go. You hire them, you train them, you watch them, you coach them, but then once they get the hang of it, that's when the business really gets good, really gets fun, and really starts to feel very easy. That's when it's automated.